All right, you guys, uh, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad, and this class is a, uh, is a vocabulary class. Uh, it is for uh, beginners up to advanced uh, students. Uh, we are uh, going to be working on words that uh, have to do with transportation and travel, okay? Uh, while going through, uh, through the words, okay, we'll, uh, we'll identify the words in, in English. Okay, and then uh, I also want to practice using them in a sentence. Okay, if you have, if you have trouble pronouncing them uh, or creating a sentence, I can help you out. I can help you create a sentence and then have you repeat that sentence. All right. Uh, so let's see who we have in class so far. Uh, hi, and is your name Vanya? Uh, yes. Hi. How are you? Uh, Fine, Good. And uh, Vanya, where are you from? Um, I'm I'm from Sicily. Okay, so from uh, so from uh, Italy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Very, very good. Very good. Well, welcome, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Um, uh, what do you do? Uh, do you uh, work or do you go to school? Um, Are you a student? I'm, uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm a psychologist. A psychologist, okay. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, thank you. Uh, this is my first time in All right. uh, Verbling. Fabulous. Well, welcome, welcome to Verbling. It's great to have <laughs> you here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. How about Maxim? Hello. Hello. Hi, Maxim. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, Maxim, where are you from? I'm from Russian Federation, you know. Uh huh. I do. And uh, what do you do? Are you a uh, student or do you work full time? No, I already do work uh, full time. Uh, I'm a programmer. I'm a developing program and application okay. for a mobile device. Great, great. And uh, so, do you uh, create them uh, like specifically for the Google or the iPhone? Or iPhone or yes, for for Android, for uh, Apple. Yeah. Okay. So for both of them. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, good for you. Uh, good to have you here in class. Yeah. Thank. You. All right. How about Liliana? Chat. Hi there. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How was your weekend? And it was good. I taught a uh, Spanish class on Facebook group. And cool. Yes, it was a good experience. Very <laughs> nice. I'm so happy, yeah. Good. Well, good for you. That's awesome. And how was uh, your um, daughter's birthday? Uh, it was fun. We had we had a, a really good time, um, and uh, you know, had lots of food to eat, and uh, hung out, sang some songs, and uh, yeah, just uh, just a, a lot of a lot of good fun. Ah, good to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome welcome back to class. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. All right. How about uh, Nura? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Oh, welcome to class. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Medium? Yes. Hi, Medium. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Thanks. Great. How was your weekend? Um, uh, uh, very well. Great. That's good to hear. Awesome. Well, good to see you in class again. Uh, thanks. All right. How about uh, Lamia? Um, good, yeah, thank you. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing really good. And is that a Cookie Monster hat that you're wearing on your head there in the picture? No. Okay. It looks 
like it's a cookie monster hat. Um, is, is this you here in the picture, Lamia? Yeah. Okay. Very good. And uh, welcome, uh, welcome uh, back to class. It's good to have you here. How, how was your weekend? Mm. How was your weekend? Uh, so I'm your good. We Thank you. Okay. Yeah, the weekend would be Saturday and Sunday for some people. Uh, other people, it's Friday and Saturday. And for others, it's actually Thursday and Friday. So, uh, let's see. How about uh, Jose? Miguel, how are you? Um, uh, Jose, make sure that your microphone is not muted. I cannot hear you. All right, cool. I'll come. I'll come back to you. Okay. Um, how about uh, Jeremias? How are you? Jeremias, can you hear me? All right. How about Haifa? How are you? Hi, I am fine. And you, teacher? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How, how was your weekend? I am visited uh, my family. Great. And how is your family doing? Um, and Are they I doing can... really, really good or so-so? Yeah, so? yeah. Very, very good. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming to class. It's good to see you again. Hey. How about how about uh, Jaber? Hi, teacher. How are you today? Hi. And uh, where's the accent in your name? Is it uh, Jaber or ja uh, Jaber? Uh, Jaber. Jaber. Okay. Jaber. And, yes. and Jaber, where are you from? I'm from Algeria. Algeria. Fabulous. And uh, what do you do? Are you a, uh, a, a student or do you work full time? Mm, I'm jobless. I had okay. finished my education last year. Uh, you did. You did finish your education la last year. Yes. Okay. And what's uh, what's your profession? I'm jobless now. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what did you graduate uh, with? What's your degree? Uh, yes. It's it's mechanical energy. Okay. Me mechanical energy. Okay, very good. Well, welcome, Thanks. welcome to class. I wish you luck in uh, in uh, finding uh, finding a job here in the future. Inshallah. Thanks a lot, sir. Sure. Uh, let's go to um, Heramias. Can you hear me? I see your microphone is probably working. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Heramias. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Yes, I hear. Good. Uh, uh, Jeremias, where are you from? Hi, I'm from Brazil. Brazil. From okay. Brazil. Great. And uh, what uh, what do you do? Are you a student or do you work full time? Uh, I'm work and study. Wow. Study English both of them. only. Uh, studying English only. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what uh, what do you work? Uh, I'm work with um, support analyst. Okay, so as a computer analyst with computers. With computers. Okay, yes. great. Well, good to have you here in class. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All Thank right. You. How about uh, Jose? How are you? Did you get your Hi. microphone? I'm there good. you are. How you doing, man? Now it's okay. okay. Yeah. Very good. And uh, let's see, uh, Jose Miguel Perez. Uh, you, have you been in my class before? Uh, no, it's my first time. Okay, there was an there was another guy that had four four names that began with Jose Miguel. Okay, so Jose, where are you from? I'm from Spain, from Canary Island. Okay, great. And what do you do? Are you a student um, or do you work full time? Both. I'm a sport teacher. I'm a student as well. Okay, so you're a sport teacher. So like physical yeah. education. Yes. Cool. Um, now, do you work in a, in a school or are you a trainer for sport? Sports teams. In, in both, in a school and a sports center as well. Okay, awesome, man. Very cool. Good for you. <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, let's see. I don't think I missed anybody. All right. Well, uh, for those of you who do not know who I am, my name is Teacher Chad. 
Uh, I am from the United States, but I currently live in Costa Rica. Uh, I speak two languages. Uh, that would be uh, Spanish and and English. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, um, I uh, I've lived in probably I think it's six countries total now. So um, uh, started out in obviously the United States, but then into uh, Argentina, um, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and now Costa Rica. Okay, um, my uh, Facebook page is right here. So if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, that'd be awesome. Uh, you can also follow me on on Verbling. Okay, there there may be a uh, a thing that there that says uh, follow the teacher or whatever. Okay, um, so this hour is a vo vocabulary hour. Okay, the link that we are that we're going to be taking a look at. is right here okay so if you are new if you're new to uh, new to verbling or or new to uh, classes or whatnot okay um, if you look right here on the right hand side okay um, my name is Chad Hansen right here okay so this is my Facebook page okay and this here is the link okay all you have to do is click on it and it will open right up all right, so this is the page that we are going to be taking a look at, and uh, I have about 75 words. Um, the other day we went through uh, we went through uh, uh, almost the, the full page. Okay, uh, so go ahead and and open that up. Uh, I'm going to go to this here. Okay. Okay, so open that uh, up on your own computer okay. all right and I'll do screen share as well all right so um, we went through a lot of these words already this is page number one and we are going to scroll down okay um, so here we actually got uh, we're on this word right there so um, what we're going to do is identify the words okay uh, identify the words and then uh, I'd like to use them in a sentence so for example uh, this here is a car car and what is a car used for it's uh, to travel from one place to another so a sentence that uh, that I would use is I drive my car to my okay I drive my car to my friend's house okay so I use the uh, the vocabulary word in a sentence it can be in past tense present tense uh, future tense whatever tenses you want to use if you need help I am here to help you and uh, and we'll go from there if, uh, if trouble uh, creating a, uh, a sentence I can help you with that as well all right so uh, we're gonna start off over on the uh, left hand side with uh, Javier and Javier uh, yes, go ahead and read this first word. What is this? Go ahead and read that, please. Uh, this, uh, chicken in. Yeah, check in. Check in. Check in. Uh huh. And uh, what mm -hmm. do you do at the check in? What is that for? What does it look like they're doing? Okay. What What is it? To check in. I don't. I don't know what is it. To check in. Okay. Check. Well, let's let's look at uh, some other pictures. Okay. Yes. All right. So, um, when you fly, you have to uh, go to um, the, the go through the line and check in. So, have um, you been uh, have you been on a plane before, Javed? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So, when you fly, you have to go through something that may look a little like this. Okay, and you give them the, your bags, and they uh, put it on a belt, and it they take it away. This is called the check-in. Check-in. Yes. Okay, so you can check in. Here's another 
uh, shot here. So all these different airlines, okay, British Airways, Filipino Airways, Air Pacific, okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to stand at a counter and check in your bags. So you see here he is handing his bag over to the person at the check-in counter. Okay, so uh, yes. class, that is what a check-in is. Check-in, yes. Okay, so yes. um, uh, let me have you try and use that word in, in a sentence, okay? Uh, it's me, sir, or let me... Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, let me have you, uh, Jabber, let me have you use that word check-in in a uh, sentence. Check -in. Okay. Uh, uh, I I I will ch check in my bags. Good. So I will check in my bags. Yes. Great sentence. Awesome job. Thanks. Good one. Thanks. All right. Let's go to Haifa. All right. Nice job. Uh, Haifa. Thanks. Our next word here. Okay. Okay. Is this this one here? What is this? Convertibly or convertibly. Okay. okay, very close. It is convertible. 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 Try that one more. Uh huh. One more time. Convertible. Convertible. Good. Now, um, uh, what is a convertible? Uh, that's a large. Uh, Large uh, car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A large car, and uh, let's uh, let's see here. Let me check out some uh, some other words or some other pictures. Okay. And hopefully, I get uh, some okay pictures. Sometimes convertible cars get some crazy pictures. Here we go. Okay, so, oh, come on, Internet. Here we go. All right, so these are convertible cars, all right? And it started, it started in the early 50s. These were probably the first convertible cars. Um, but what it is, you see this? This is what I was looking yeah. for. So the top actually connects here, but it converts into a topless car. Okay, so this is why we call this a convertible, all right? Uh, just like in this one here. So the this this is actually cloth. Okay, it's a cloth material, and it would retract and hide back in this part. So then it would convert, which would mean to change, change from a car that looks like this, okay, to a car that looks like this. So it 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 has a top but it's hidden. You cannot see it. It hides it. And then you can take it out and connect it here. Does that make sense, Haifa? Uh, I can't. Okay, let me, uh, let me see here. Okay, so convertible cars, um, they, they, they no. can, a convertible car can have a top. All right, so let's see. Let me find one that has a top all the way. Nope, I don't want to do that. So it has a, a top just like a car, a normal car would have, Haifa. This is called the, the car top right here. Okay, it has a top, but it can be removed. Okay, you can take it away so that it does not have a top. All right, that's why they call it a convertible. Okay, the top is 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 taken off and it and it is removed. Okay, so if it's if it's like this and it's covering the top, it is converted back and it hides. Okay, and so that's why we call it a convertible. Okay, um, yeah, so a covered and uncovered car. Yeah, exactly right, I had. Okay, um, so uh, it, it, do you still have a doubt there, Haifa?
Okay. She's gone. Yeah, she took off. That may have been a, uh, a more difficult word. Um, all right, so that's that's a convertible. Does everybody understand what a convertible car is? Yes, that's clear. Yeah. Okay, yeah, very cool. Trying. All right, okay. let's uh, let's go to our next word here. Hedemias. Hi. Hi there. All right, so I'm going to scroll over and down. And okay, so this word right here. Okay. Um, so go ahead and read this word, please. Uh, court the courthouse. Good. Yes, courthouse. So this is actually courthouse. two words. Two words. Court and house. Courthouse. Mm -hmm. All Court right. Courthouse. What is a uh, a courthouse used for? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, the courthouse. Um, yes, um, it, it's uh, it's for the law. Mm. Okay, it's, ah, for, it's, okay, for okay. The, it's for the law. So if you are traveling and you get in trouble, okay, let's say if you're drinking too much, okay? <laughs> All right, if you're drinking <laughs> too much in another country and you do something wrong, all just, right, just, then just, you would have to go to the courthouse. All so right? Just, justice. Okay. Uh, yeah, like justice, okay? Um, but also sometimes when you travel, it's uh, the the courthouses are really big and beautiful. I know when I when I've been to uh, um, uh, Honduras as well as Argentina, we went to their courthouses because they're very big and beautiful, and so we took some pictures and things like that. Um, but yeah, sometimes they have some really cool architecture, some really nice architecture. So. Um, all right, so let's see, Jeremias, let me have you use the word courthouse in a sentence. Um, let me see. Who is on the courthouse? Okay, who is at, who is at the courthouse? Yes, on, who is on the courthouse? Lawyers. Okay, um, so instead of saying on, because that would mean on top, okay, or we would say in. who is at, who, who, who is, is at, who is at okay. the courthouse. You could also say okay. in if you're, if you're meaning like inside one of the rooms, but uh, yeah, we could say who is at the court. Okay, good, yeah, so who is at the courthouse, uh, and uh, someone answered lawyers. Lawyers and the judge. Judges. There you go. Lawyers, judges. Attorneys. Attorneys, yep, would be another word for them. Okay, very good. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go to Jose. Okay. All right, our next word here, please. Duty free shop. I'm okay, not sure very, what very close. So, duty, duty free. Uh, international duty free shop. Yeah, so a duty-free shop. Is there anybody in class that knows what a duty-free a shop of is? Of what course. is that? It's in the airports or in uh, in the uh, 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 port, is it harbors? Exactly. It's, it's, it's free, freed from charges of uh, taxes, so you can buy it at the good price. Uh huh. And we are, we are free from taxes. You don't have to pay taxes. Yeah, and usually it's alcohol. Yeah. Uh, even, even <laughs> now, now I know. <laughs> now, yes, i goes, yes, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most famous one is in Dubai, I think. And perfumes as well. Uh, yeah, perfumes. Okay, so like duty, duty free equals tax free. Okay, so tax-free, um, and you would have alcohol, perfumes, uh, purses, sometimes clothes. Um, why is that? Well, when you travel from one country to another, okay, uh, they you have to go through what's called customs and inspections, and you have to 
state if you're bringing anything into the country, um, maybe to sell uh, or whatever. Okay, and so when I when I would go and visit my family in uh, in Honduras, I would bring in Christmas presents. All right, and I would have to prove to them that I wasn't planning on selling anything. Okay, because if I was, I would have to pay taxes. Okay, I would have to pay taxes for bringing that in. Okay, mm -hmm. now uh, alcohol is one of the things that are that that are taxed. Okay, it's taxed heavily. Okay, as well as some other things. All right, mm -hmm. so that's why they have what what's called duty free shops, and you get a little you know receipt or whatnot. So when you go through, you can you can show it show it to them and say, hey, I, I bought this at the duty free shop. Everything's cool, no worries. And the reason why is because um, the uh, the airports are usually owned by the the government, anyways. Chad, I want to ask you. Sure. Do you know what is V I V A T? V I T. No, V A T. V A T a vat. No, it's yeah, vat. It's uh, I think about when you buy some something in a country and you went home. Mm -hmm. They can uh, pay you the difference, the taxes that and you. Oh, it's. Uh, it's I, I forgot what is VAT, but uh, when you pay uh, sixty dollars for, uh, for example. Uh, oh, okay. And yeah. They, they they will pay you the the difference of tax because you don't have to pay tax because you're going to, uh, you're not living in that country. Um, yeah, I haven't. Uh, I usually don't pay taxes uh, anyway, um, because I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't drink alcohol, and I don't buy things in the little shops in the stores, because they're usually really expensive. Um, and so, yeah, uh, the only thing that I I get when I when I travel, and I used to travel a lot. A lot, a lot, uh, but I, I don't do that anymore. Um, but yeah, it was it was mainly food, fam food and books is what I would buy. Um, but yeah, and, and and those type of things, the uh, the customs agents don't really look at, and so it wasn't a very big deal. So I haven't had to I had to deal with any of that. But okay, let's see, let's see, uh, Jose, let me have you used a duty free shop in a sentence, okay? Okay. Um... I go uh, Jack Daniel, very cheap <laughs> in the really free uh, shop. There you go. I bought Jack Daniels, very cheap at the duty free shop. Okay. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Let's go to Lamia. All right. And Lamia, this next word here. Go ahead and read this, please. Fear. Okay, very close. This would be fairy. Fairy. Okay. Now there's there's a difference here. Okay, there's two types of fairies. Okay, the first one is spelled like that. F A I R Y. That is pronounced fairy as well. Okay. The second one, which we're going to talk about, is fairy. F E R R Y. Now let's take a look at the difference. Okay. So the uh, the first one. Okay, would be something that uh, that uh, girls. Okay, would like to have. It's kind of like uh, Tinker Bell. Tinker Bell is a fairy. Okay. This is F A. F A I R Y. So yes, in Peter Pan, a fairy. So this is a fairy, okay? Something fairy. like this. Yes. Okay, so this is a fairy. Also, if you're if you're using this word, okay, um, if you, you if you call a man a fairy, okay, if you call a man a fairy, it's because he is gay, okay? Yeah. Um, so you uh, you would call a man a fairy. And that is a gay man. Okay, so so you can say, "Hey, did you see that fairy?" If you're referring to a guy, that means that he's homosexual. Okay, and it's usually a derogatory term. So uh, just just be careful with it. All right. I I mean, if you hear someone say that, it's uh, it's usually it's usually uh, usually a bad uh, a bad thing. Okay, uh, you don't want to go off and say, "Hey, you know." 
this out or the other. Um, uh, but that's that's what it does mean. So if you do hear that and they're referring to a man, you're going, but he's he doesn't have wings. Okay, well it's because they're they're calling him gay or or, or homosexual. Okay, um, the uh, so the other way is yeah a fairy like in Peter Pan. Okay, Tinkerbell. Okay, um, now let's take a look at uh, the fairy that we are talking about here. Okay, so this is this is a fairy. All right, fairies. Let me get a good, good shot. Yeah, it's a small boat. It's a small boat that takes people from one place to another. All right, and yes, that's what boats do. But it usually um, goes across maybe the English Channel. Okay, or they go very short distances. So, for example, ah, yeah, this is great. So here's Costa Rica. Um, so this is where I live in Alajuela. Okay. So if you come down this way, all the way to uh, Punta Arenas, okay, you can take a ferry across the ocean to Naranjo. All right. So it's a ferry that goes a very short distance, and it's so that you don't have to travel all the way around. Okay. So it's a it's a boat. That comes here and comes down to here. Excuse me, Chad. I don't, yes. I don't agree with you. What's up? Because uh, it's not uh, usually it's maybe small, but there is a big ferry and and uh, sail for a long distances. Uh, uh, for example, from uh, from France to Algeria, there is ferries. They carry uh -huh. they carry cars and they are very big. How how long of a trip is it? Trip is about uh, two days, three days. Oh, or really? More. Yeah. Wow. See, because uh, uh, most fairy, most yeah. ferries, most ferries that I know of, okay, you're yeah. you're within a day, okay. So maybe five hours, six hours, okay. But I, I told you. But yeah, two two, uh, two short, days. Mm. But uh, maybe more. Yeah, but I mean the the, uh, yeah. the important thing about them is yes, they carry cars. cars okay, you it. can you can put cars on it. Okay, mm -hmm. it's not it's not going to be like a cruise ship. So yeah, yeah. that's the that's the first time that, that I've heard of a uh, of a ferry going for going for longer than a day. Most of the ferries that I've uh, that I've uh, heard about, um, the max I've heard was about six hours. Um, uh, there but, is a ferry between Marsilia, Marseille, and Alger, Algiers. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Very cool. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Very good. Okay. So, uh, Lamia. Um, so that that is what a ferry is. Lamia, can you use that word ferry in a sentence for me, please? I think I may have lost Lamia. Lamia, are you there? All right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go on to uh, Liliana. Yes, Chat. All right. Our next uh, next word here. Okay. Go ahead and read that for me, please. Fire station. Uh, it's the place where the firemen uh, are kept. Are kept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fire the firemen stay there, mm -hmm. and the uh, the fire trucks are are kept there. Is how you could say that. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, um, you usually have let's see, there's a lot of really cool things in uh, in fire stations. There's uh, usually a pool a pole. Okay, and let's see if we. Any cool shots inside? Not really. I know. Um, so when I was younger, I, I participated with the Boy Scouts of America. All right. So uh, the Boy Scouts, and uh, and so I learned how to do all all sorts of uh, really really cool things. Um, one of the things that I liked to do uh, when I was a a leader with them was take them to like the police station, to the fire fire station, things like that. Because the firemen, the firemen are the best. They're really cool. They let they take you inside, and there's a pole that you get to uh, slide wow. down. 
down, you get to try out their weights, you get to try on their uniform, you know, all these cool things. So the firemen are always really great in the United States, mm -hmm. and they, they let you uh, do a whole lot of a lot of different things, and it was really fun uh, because I, I got to see in, that. Uh, in the 11th of uh, November? Uh, uh, September, yeah. September, sorry. Uh-huh. Definitely. Yeah. They, Definitely. They were heroes. Yeah. Yeah, um, there's been uh, a lot of songs written about the firemen uh, running into the uh, the twin towers uh, to try and uh, and save uh, save people. Uh -huh. yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them lost their lives. Um, yeah, there was a movie. Um, Nicholas Cage was in it, I believe. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. There was. Um, uh, another there's been I think three three or four movies um, about it there was one one about um, what's that ladder something yeah it's like ladder ladder 49 49 or something yeah yeah but they're 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 really uh, really interesting uh, interesting movies there was a love story uh, that was it was based off of uh, the situation where he was supposed to go um, uh, pick her up beforehand but they got in a fight and um anyway so yeah the the person went went to work instead and was was working in the twin towers and anyway so it was a it was a really sad story yeah. but uh yeah so there the the firemen uh, the firemen are, are respected uh very much there in the, in the united states mm -hmm. uh but yes and so um so when you're traveling Okay, um, this may be a place that you go and you go and see. Uh, I haven't seen any fire fire stations outside of the U.S. Uh, some of them may be uh, may be cool. I know here in Costa Rica they have their they have a really cool. Um, uh, I've seen their their uh, bomberos um, going around. They're pretty they're pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. So let's see, Liliana. Let me have you uh, uh, use that use the word fire station in a sentence. The um, um, uh, before I um, travel to, uh, to Bolivia, uh, there was a fire station uh, uh, around the around this uh, or located in this in this a uh, downtown, and now they moved to uh, another place. Okay, now they moved it it to another place. There you go. Yeah, we would have to use that that pronoun there, referring back to the fire station. Now they moved it to a different place. Okay. They moved it to another place. Okay. There you go. Good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Rinat. How are you? Hello, Chad. I'm here. All right. Let's see. Your word is. Um, well, we talked about fire trucks and and everything like that. So, um, okay. How about this one right here? Um, sorry, I can't see you right now. Oh, it's a garment bag. Great. Good, yeah, a garment bag. And what would a garment bag be used for? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. All right, does anybody in class know what a garment bag is used for? To uh, for a photo shoot. It's a bag for the gloves. To protect or to cover the clothes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So a garment bag is, is used to put uh, uh, usually uh, fancier clothes. Okay. Um, this is. Uh, I had a garment bag that looked a, a bit like this. You can put your suits in like this. You have a place to uh, hang them. Okay. And um, umbrellas. You can fold. Anyway, this closes up. And then you can either hold it uh, like this, straight up, or you can fold it in half, like uh, like this guy here, okay, and uh, and carry it that way. So yes, it's it's usually used for uh, for fancier fancier clothes. All right, and I had I had a garment bag like this when I went to uh, to Argentina because I used a, a couple of suits when I was there. Um, but yes, they're they're long and they they tend to fold over just like this, and it's so that you don't um, uh, so that you don't wrinkle, okay? It's so that you don't wrinkle the clothes. All right, so uh, let's check out the word wrinkle. So you can't iron the clothes. Yeah, <laughs> that's very helpful. 
Yeah, so um, this is wrinkled. All right, so when a shirt is wrinkled, oh, that's terrible. Okay, when a shirt is wrinkled, it's crumpled up. This is the verb wrinkled, wrinkled shirt. Okay, so that's what you are trying to avoid. <laughs> All right, very good. So, yes, a garment bag is used to travel. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Renat. Uh, please use that word garment bag in a sentence. Mm -hmm. I use the garment bag um, when I want uh, the clothes uh, don't wrinkle when I travel somewhere. Are you there? Oops, sorry, I'd muted myself. I thought that mm -hmm. I unmuted myself, but I did. All right, so um, instead of saying um, uh, uh, I use the garment bag when I want my clo clothes don't wrinkle, okay, we would mm -hmm. say when I don't want my clothes to wrinkle. Mm -hmm. Let me have you try that one more time. I use the garment bag uh, when I don't want uh, my clothes uh, to wrinkle. Good, excellent one. Don't want my clothes to wrinkle. To wrinkle. Very good. Nice job. All right, thank you very much. Let's go to uh, Nura. Yes, teacher, I'm here. All right, so your word is right here. Go ahead and read that, please. Gate. Yeah, gate. Gate. A, a gate. Gate. Okay. okay. And uh, let's see. What does that look like here? Oh, I don't know, but I will try. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's find another picture. We're gonna uh, look at an air gate. Okay. <clears throat> it, it can also be called a terminal. All right. So. All right. This uh, looks like a good shot. So before you you uh, get on a plane okay uh, you go to uh, you go to the gate all right and uh, this usually has a flight attendant that's standing here that checks your tickets all right and there's usually uh, a lot of chairs okay these here are chairs and you would sit and wait until they call your your number or your time to go fly and you walk through you hand them your ticket and then you uh, go through here to board the plane. When we get on a plane class, we are boarding a plane. Okay, so this here is a gate. Okay, yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Okay, all right, can you use the word uh, gate referring to this type of gate in a sentence, please? Okay, um, uh, the gate it uh, use. Uh, to entering or exit uh, from any place. Okay, say that one more time. It was breaking up just a little bit. Okay. Let, let me have you repeat your sentence, please, Nura. Okay. Uh, the gate is uh, used to entering uh, and uh, exit from any place. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Good job. Thank okay. you. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Let's go. Uh, I, I do want to uh, uh, share one more thing. Now, um, when you are talking about an airport gate, uh, you must uh, specify unless you are already in the airport. So if you are at the airport already, you don't need to say, I'm going to my airport gate because we know. But if you are outside of the airport, talk about a gate okay this is uh, usually what it is uh, let's see if it brings up okay so this is a gate okay uh, usually uh, at the front of houses okay before you go in okay so this is a gate um, so if you are not talking about an airport gate and you're talking about another gate like leading into uh, the property of uh, uh, onto someone's property, um, then uh, that's that's what this 
purposes. If you are talking about an airport gate and you are not at the uh, airport, you would need to say either airline or airport. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's go to our next word, and this is for uh, Vanya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Vanya. Okay. Uh, please read this word, Vanya. Hang glider. Okay, good, good. Let's try that again. We're going to say hang glider. Hang glider. Good. Now, what what is a hang glider? It's to fly. Mm -hmm. um, uh, hang or fly. Sport. For sports. It's to fly. Now. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is for sports. <laughs> Uh -huh. Good, good, Vanya. It is for f flying. Yeah. Okay. That's so fine. yeah, yeah. You would. Uh, it does not have a motor, and you have to run just like this. You run. Okay. And then you uh, you would usually leap off. Oh, that one has a motor on it. Um. There is no engine in in uh, the the light. Yeah, there's no engine on it. Okay, you usually leap off or jump off of a uh, a cliff, okay, and then you can glide, okay, and uh, you can glide for many many uh, many hours and have a have a good time. Have you tried it, uh, Chad? I have not, but it is on my list of things to do. <laughs> you fly like a bird. Yeah. <laughs> when you fly, you have to say "jim" when you fly. <laughs> Like they do Americans, they cry, scream, Geronimo. A Geronimo, yes. Geronimo, yes. <laughs> so, so uh, here, here you can see they're they're about to jump off the side of this cliff. All right, and uh, when you do, uh, it it uh, you know uh, activates your wings. All right, and it, and it uh, uh, you use what's called lift, and you are able to float through the air. So um, uh, yes, in the the state where I'm from, in in the United States, uh, in Utah, we have a lot of mountains, and a lot of people like to uh, go hang gliding, and that's very fun. So okay, so that is hang gliding. So Vanya, uh, let me have you uh, use that word in a sentence, please. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, that. Uh, um, uh, used uh, uh, hang glider um, is uh, wonderful, but uh, um, I have fear um, about it. Okay. All right. So, so you thought you thought that riding a hang glider would be wonderful, but you are afraid. Okay, afraid of it. So, um, have. So have fear would be okay. uh, to Altitude. afraid. Okay, so be afraid. That's that's the word that we would use, uh, Vanya. So instead of saying uh, I have fear of it, it is to be afraid. Afraid of altitude. Uh, afraid of heights. We can say altitude. Um, uh, no, we would not say altitude. We would say heights. Afraid oh. of heights. Heights phobia. Uh huh. Uh, a fear. Uh, you would say a fear of heights. Okay. Yeah. But uh, if you're talking about it, uh, um, uh, when you're talking about hang gliding or flying a hang glider, you would say I I'm afraid of heights. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Nice job, Vanya. Thank you. Uh, let's go to uh, Enrique. Hi, Chad. Hi there. How are you? I am fine. Thank you for asking. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking as well. Okay. All right. Uh, what is this here? Hatchback. Yeah. Hatch. Hatchback. Try that one more time. Hatch. Hatchback. Hatchback. Good. And uh, what is a hatchback? Uh, it's the part uh, back to the car to 
to put uh, something. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's uh, let's take a look at some other pictures here. I have I have my car is a hatchback. You know that. To have a hatchback as well. My mine, car. Uh, mine is a hatchback. There is a, a a long one, but my type in same category is a hatchback. It's like so, uh, it's uh, four four. Uh, We'd say five, uh, five. Uh, let's say gates, not five doors. So this was, this was, uh, yeah, right here. This was my exact car that I used to, that I used to drive, and uh, I, it has a hatchback in the back here, and you could fit, you can fit a whole family in there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is what I. Uh, uh, this is what I drove up until I came here to Costa Rica. It was a 2007 uh, a Chevy hatchback. Okay, and you see here how it how it uh, curves down. Okay, it can pop open. Okay, it opens right up. There are there are many different types of of hatchbacks. Okay, but they all have uh, have this in common where it's kind of hatched. Okay, so it angles and then comes down. <clears throat> okay, you can see here how it angles this way and then comes down. So that's that's how it uh, that's how they they typically look. Um, this would be another one that's that's sort of flat on the back. Okay, it's it's not as angled. Okay. Sometimes we use it as a for five uh, five doors they say four doors for the long one and five doors for a hatchback yeah yeah they they can call that a, a five door a vehicle as well okay awesome all right so that is a hatchback and enrique let me have you uh um use hatchback in a sentence please uh, they was trying to put the the equipment in the hatchback there you go they and and we would say they were they were trying. They were trying. Okay, yeah. They were trying to put the equipment in the hatchback. Nice job. Very good. Let's go to uh, Goliath. Yeah. And your word here is? Don't tell me helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> helicopter. Very cool. So, um, have, you, have you ever ridden in a helicopter before, Goliath? No, never. But uh, all my friends are uh, helicopter uh, pilots. Really? That's really cool. Yeah. I, uh, yesterday I was taking, a, I was having a coffee with my friend. He's a major in the army. He was, he's a pilot of helicopter. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And um, there's a lot of uh, different types of, of helicopters. Um, <laughs> Let's see. There is a lot. There is a civil one and the war. And then, yeah. And then there is the war army. one. Yeah. Yeah. So here, here we can see a a, a, a civilian one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where where it fits uh, fits a few people. Okay. Uh, you also have these types that fit one or two people. Okay. And then uh, yeah. and then you have the militaries. Okay, the military helicopter. Uh, probably one of the most famous ones would be the Apache, the Apache, Apache helicopter. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. They, so there, there's a lot of. Uh, they used it a lot in uh, Vietnam War. Yes, they did. They did. So um, yeah, this would be another uh, another type of uh, of helicopter. You see, it's larger. This would be more like a passenger uh, helicopter. Okay, things like that. Yeah, All right, so uh, yes. You can say you call it chopper. In America, you you call it chopper, I think. Huh? Uh, yeah, you can definitely call it a chopper. Uh, what was your question, Liliana? Yes, uh, I say uh, I fly in, in the helicopter or I get in, in the helicopter. What's the right way to say? Um, well, it depends on what what you're doing. Okay, mm -hmm. are you going to be the uh, um, well, let's see. To uh, to be outside and then inside that action, mm -hmm. okay, um, like subir, right? That would be get in. So I get into the helicopter. Okay, you can say it's just like a bus. Jump in, hop in, 
Okay, uh, all those same type of words you can use to get in. But um, here you can you can uh, you can ride in. So ride in a heli helicopter. Okay, as well as fly in a helicopter. Okay. 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 Um, you can also say I'm taking a trip. Okay, if it's a like sometimes what in large cities like in uh, New York, you can actually take a uh, a helicopter trip, okay, around the city and get an aerial or a a, a top view of what the city looks like. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, a helicopter trip around the city. Uh, I I would love to do that one day, but we'll see what. There happens. is rich people who. Uh, have, uh -huh. Executive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have executive helicopters that uh, that would fly people to and from work, things like that. Yeah, definitely. All right. So uh, go ahead and use that word in a sentence, Goliath. I will uh, use it in sentence. And, uh, excuse me. Who's talking? Okay. Uh, I uh, will use it in a sentence. But it was the fact. One day I was uh, walking in London. I was in trip, and I saw a helicopter. Uh, carrying an accident, uh, uh, there was a car accident. They were carrying, they were carrying uh, uh, the injured, the the injured, uh, the injured one. They carried um, the the after. injured. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If you're uh, talking about the people in general, you can say the injured. The injured, yeah. An injured uh, guy was uh, was riding a bike. And they took they took him with a, a helicopter to the hospital. And okay. Time, I was amazed that it was in the center of uh, in the downtown. Usually yeah. they use it in remote area, but mm -hmm. in the center of London, I was amazed. I don't yeah, know just why. depending on on how fast they need it done. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Uh, thank you for coming to class. It was uh, great having you here. Um, uh, let's see. My next class, I believe, is no. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, so we're doing grammar. Uh, grammar is for my next class. The uh, present perfect tense. Uh, so very good. Thank you, guys. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Bye.